What's up guys, your boy Jerry back on the inside with another edition of Men's Fragrance and Fashion Extra. Hope you guys are doing well. So today we're dropping this one for the guys who you know into niche and so on. Now we try to do something for everybody on this channel, alright? So as I said today, it's all about that niche fragrance. And yes, I'll be giving you my take on this fragrance, Gisada Ambassador. Alright, so if that's something you probably were interested in, you're contemplating, you're looking at it, or probably somebody mentioned it to you whatever the case is today i hope this video you know could shed a little light on this fragrance for you and ultimately you know this may help you to make a more informed decision so to speak so we're gonna get right into it guys let's go so before we do that if you're new to the channel my name is jerriel and in this channel we discuss everything fragrance related so if you enjoy content like that make sure to hit that subscribe button right make sure make sure and don't forget to click that bell so you'll be notified every time i put out a new video at this point it's two videos per week i we try to do sometimes it may be one video a week but anyway i appreciate you guys i appreciate you so sit back, relax, and let's dive right into this fragrance. All right, so as you can see here, Jasada Ambassador. I'm going to try to give you a close-up. So this is this house. This is a niche house from Switzerland. They have a couple of fragrances on the market. This is my first from that brand. So it's a Swiss house. You know, Swiss tends to do things, you know, pretty good. Some things better than others, <laughs> right? And I've had this fragrance for probably a year and a half. Somewhere around there, between a year and a year and a half, right? So I've spent some time with it, as you can see, you know, almost reached that half line there so i've used a lot of it so i have good enough experience with the fragrance to you know shed some light on this fragrance with you today so the first thing we want to talk about is the scent profile of this fragrance here so just to get the elephant out of the room like early i would just say if you are familiar with the your sauvage this fragrance has some similarities to that all right but we're gonna get into that just now so how long this fragrance has been out i believe if i'm not mistaken this was launched in 2019 so let's say about mm, five years four to five years so it's been out there for a little while and in terms of the note breakdown let me just give it quickly on the top we have apple green mandarin cardamom violet in the middle we have mango lavender black pepper patchouli and peony not too sure what that is but apparently some type of flower and i think that's how you pronounce it <laughs> if i'm mistaken excuse me and then in the base we have vanilla amber vetiver teak wood and musk all right so what do i get mainly out of this so like what you're gonna get in the first blast here so like as you spray this for me i'm not detecting like a particular note immediately but as it you know starts to settle along that's when you're gonna be able to pull out certain things so in the opening you're just gonna get a tropical fruity scent just hitting you all right so it's very tropical very fruity and again going back to the notes when let's say well, after three to four minutes you start to um kind of understand where this fragrance is going so you're gonna get a nice tropical fruity mango note coming out of this fragrance here to me that's the main thing i get here along with some other stuff so i get a little bit of spiciness probably that could be coming from the cardamom i get a little bit of woodiness in the dry down so probably that could be the teak wood and i get a little bit of that creamy vanilla ambery vibe as well mixed all in here so the fragrance itself is like a lot coming at you but you want to know okay Gerald, does this smell good it smells very good as i mentioned this fragrance basically to, to break it down simple it's sauvage edt with some fruits thrown in it that's basically this fragrance <laughs> so you're getting that black pepper you're getting that lavender that burger but you're getting all those things from sauvage but just with some fruits in here some of the other notes are more or less undetectable to me like the violet the the mandarin orange those things are very like to the to the background for me but again so the break it down simply is like i don't even want to say a niche version of sauvage but what does that really mean but again the best description of this is the sauvage and you just throw a bunch of fruits in it so like a fruit punch right this has a fruit punch kind of vibe going on here all right is it is it enjoyable of course for me the best part of this fragrance is the opening right i enjoy the opening so like the first i say the first 10 minutes of this i enjoy it when this starts to dry down now i'm not sure if it's anybody else has this experience but for me i start to get a, a bit of a synthetic vibe coming out of this fragrance now i say synthetic and some you know so your, your face is probably turning up no synthetic in the world of fragrance is not a bad thing remember that it's not a bad thing there are a lot of bangers out there like real banging fragrances 
that are very synthetic and people love them so synthetic is not a bad thing right it's not an evil word <laughs> in the fragrance world it's just that you know you kind of get something like an artificial vibe coming out that's cool once it smells good that's the most important thing so i start to get a lot of synthetic ness if that's a word coming out of this fragrance in the dry down which i don't particularly like right the way it's coming off here i have it all right so i have it on my skin so i just start to get like an artificial synthetic vibe from this with all everything else still there the tropical fruity vibe is still there but it just started to come off a little synthetic on my skin right and again i don't really particularly enjoy that but overall the scent profile is wonderful it's really nice is it my favorite fragrance no it's not but it has a mass appeal to it that people will like so i remember wearing this uh particular evening i think i was to go to a rehearsal and like two or three of the guys there when i walked in was like how to be you eh, boy what, what, what is you wearing today boy what going on with you boy <laughs> so you know it has that mass appeal people like it once they could detect it so that leads me to performance now this fragrance for me i'd say it's just above average right it's not a beast mode but it's not terrible it's, it's kind of like right in between there so i get probably like i get about the first four hours of this fragrance um it's decent i pick it up and to me like after that five six hours it started to sit very very close to my skin i'm not sure if at that point people pick it up because overall i haven't like received a ton of compliments wearing this right that's just me it may be different for you all right but for me it's not like a ton of compliments with this one i know it has a mass appeal and people like it and it smells good all right so i think this is one of those fragrances that you will have to try for yourself and see how it works along with your body chemistry so projection i'll say probably one to two feet not gonna fill up a room and again longevity is well, i just mentioned longevity right so that's it for performance um overall don't want to dwell too long on this overall this fragrance is it's nice it has that mass appeal very tropical fruity so if you like that kind of scent dna like that kind of profile fruity tropical has a freshness at the same time and has that slight Dior Sauvage feel to it this is one you're gonna like you're definitely gonna enjoy it right um, I know when they'll try this one when they'll let me know in the comments again what's your thoughts on this one and anybody else who have this one I like to hear your feedback on on this right so I hope that my take on this fragrance could kind of sway you in whatever direction whether it's to probably try it out or to skip past this one i always recommend you know probably just get a sample or if you, have, if you know someone with the fragrance they could you know give you a little sample in it so you could play with it a little bit see if it's something that you want to invest in so that's it for me today jisada ambassador this one i don't know marius big up yourself marius this is one he has if you have the intense as well you can let me know um i never tried the it's intense yeah the black butter i think it's intense if you have that let me know um what do you think what's the difference between the two and so on right? let's get that interaction going it was a pleasure as always appreciate you taking the time to watch this video don't forget to leave a like if you like this video subscribe if you haven't already and you can share this video if you know someone you know that were that is interested in this particular figures all right so guys much love as always stay fresh smell your best and i'll catch you in the next video so until then i'm out take care peace